Welcome to Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. I'm Dr. Daniel Potts. And I'm Edie Hand. We hope you've been checking us out on our website at rxhealthylife.com. You know, Dr. Potts, they can get all of our shows right on our website. I know, and I hope you all will watch those. And I think Lori Hoyt gave you something that I don't have. Tell she me did. Why. This hope is everything. She also gave me Colors for Hope, where they put children's names on the bottom of this and allow them to paint their colors. They have their own little line. Oh, and wonderful. it is for kids with cancer. She does a lot of work with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. As you have as well. Very dear to my heart. A lot of cancer in my family. Right. We also have Amy Cotta. And we have a book that is very exciting. You know, I want some skinny jeans myself because my girls have them. Tell us about her book, Edie. Six weeks and you get in those skinny jeans. It doesn't necessarily mean they're skinny, skinny. It may be a size down, whatever. But she's got a great approach to it, and they won't want to miss it. And Dr. Roth. Now, Dr. Roth is a vain guy. Yes. Better legs, better life. Listen, I, I'm <laughs> preaching that. That sounds good I mean, to me. it's true. And he actually has a patient with him that he has been able to help. His group has been able to help. And they are going to both be on the show. They are. This guy's name is Reddick Smith. And Reddick was a bodybuilder, and he's a strength builder guy. So mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, they won't want to miss how this has made a difference in his life. And that'll be coming up next. So stay with us. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles is brought to you in part by Boyette Health Services of Alabama, offering complete medical and dental care. Go save it! Go save it! Huddle up! Scott Crump Toyota, Camry Option, 35 MPGs, $199 a month. Head in the game, Bubba. Roll savings on three. Right! Hey, Alabama, let's roll on savings in the new 2012 Corolla. $179 a month or new Camry. Roll for $199 a month. Zero down deliver, 0% financing available. Plus, make no payments till next year. Go savings! At Scott Crump Toyota. We'll do whatever it takes. Enjoy the latest books from Edie Hand, a portion of sales benefit charities such as St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Visit www.edhandfoundation.org or your local or online bookstore. Pick up your copies today. A Pocket Guide for the Alzheimer's Caregiver by Dr. Daniel Potts and his wife Ellen helps you understand this disease and get the best care possible. Go to alzpocketguide.com or any online bookstore for your copy. Hi, I'm Sarah Evans here with friends Rollins and Kamar. They're here for care at the Alabama Center for Childhood Cancer and Blood Disorders, the largest provider of cancer care for children and young adults in the state. At Children's, we treat every form of cancer and we're committed to a cure. You can be too. Donate now so thousands of kids like Rollins and Kamar will celebrate lots of birthdays, including their own. You're watching Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. Hi, I'm Edie Hand and welcome into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. We're going to be talking about various things today that deal with our health issues. And first on our show today, we're going to be talking about cancer, childhood cancer. And joining us in the studio today is the studio of Dale Smith Thomas' oh, home. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> hey, Edie. Hey. Good to be back. Thank you for joining me as a co-host today. Absolutely. Dr. Potts is off taking care of other medical patients. I bet he is. <laughs> and joining us is Lori Woodard Holt. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Pleasure to be here. She's one of my dear friends and she has an incredible mission that I'm so excited we're going to talk about today, Edie. Well, Lori, just meeting you uh, before this segment, I can see you're a very special lady with a passion and a passion for children. And I'd love for you to share with us about that passion and how it came about. Well, our 501c3 nonprofit, it's called Clinton's Club, um, our website, clintonsclub.org, um, all started with a little five-year-old Clinton, <laughs> Milliken, um, and I say all That's the time, him. That's there him. he is, fishing away. That's him. Um, I say all the time, I didn't find him or seek him out or choose him, he chose me. Um, and I met him when he was a patient at St. Jude and was returning to Nashville because his treatment had ended, ended at St. Jude. And he was how old when you met him? He was uh, a week before his sixth birthday. He mm -hmm. had had cancer for about a year at that time. And the type of cancer? He had a medulloblastoma, which is brain cancer. Wow. Can you give us a little, I see his pictures and I can, even though I never met him, I can feel his personality. I know you can too, Edie. Just it's tell just our pictures. audience, just give us some words that describe Clinton. Well, although Clinton was extroverted, he was very <laughs> funny. Um, th he laughed 
all the time, um, found joy in every moment of every day when he could have really stayed in bed and not had anything to be happy about. He chose every moment to, to, be, to have fun and smile and um, he was a trickster. He loved to pull tricks and yeah. So, and you know what I loved about, yeah, what you were talking about is if anyone has never been to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, you need to go. You need to go. Yeah. Uh, and you know, to go to their website at stjude.org. I know from personally being there of how all these children can touch your life, but certainly Clinton touched far more lives. I can see because he uh, he got to be, what was he, He was he one of the childs represented for a month or he a certain was. period of time? He, he was uh, one of St. Jude's poster children. Oh, of wow. course he was. Yeah. How could he not <laughs> yeah. be? So he, he had his, his photo taken and and his photo shoot, and he thought every photo was of him or for him, so, but that's okay. Was Clinton's Club part of his dream and his vision too? I know that you've implemented this, but was it part of Clinton's vision? It, it was. Um, it, in the beginning, we had bands that, all our kids have bands that we raise uh, money with, but his was Team Clinton, and his walks and his races were all Team Clinton. And so when we decided to form an organization, he said, how about Clinton's Club? And it just came right out, of his, right out of his mouth. And he really wanted a club where all his friends could come. Now all his friends have cancer, um, where his friends could come and they would not have to worry about cancer. So wow. his vision was to a place where children could come and camp and fish and you know do arts and crafts and things. So. And what I love was when you said, you didn't choose Clinton, he no. chose you. He did. He walked right up to me and he said, I'd like to come to your house. <laughs> and that weekend, he was at my house where he stayed every weekend until he, you know, he had a stroke on January 14th. And you said, I love this is on the website, that said his fl heart flew home to heaven. Right. But he we continue the fight mm -hmm. for Clinton and mm -hmm. all these wonderful kids. And what I love of this is that you also started this Colors for Hope. And tell a little bit about that and all these kids that you're making a difference for. Well, um, Tay Filarmino was a friend of my children and also a friend of Clinton as they both had um, clinic at Vanderbilt. And so Tay had renal cell carcinoma and she um, had a bucket list and so she came to us and we looked at her bucket list one day and we thought, well, what, what can we do off that bucket list? So she wanted to create her own nail polish and hers is bright lime green. It's, it's, <laughs> oh, yeah. it's I down see, yeah. there. I see it. I see it. The next is that one the down. next one? Yep, oh, the next it is one bright down. lime green. Um, okay, I'm going to pull and her And she out. had her own little campaign. It was called Pray for Tay and we've changed it to Live for Tay. And I love this. You've got their names on the yes, bottom. Yes, they get to pick their, they, they name their own color. If people wanted to get these, how could they do this? You can go to the website, uh, www.clintonsclub.org, and the second tab over is Colors for Hope, and you can order it right through there. Oh, I'm so happy with what you're doing, changing the world, it. my friend. You're making a difference, not only here in your community, but across the world of what you and St. Jude, your partners, are do to make a difference in child, a child's life, parents and friends. And thank Clinton's you. And Clinton's smiling from heaven. Yes, honey. he is. Holes yes, in he heaven. Is. Yes, he thank is. you, Dale Smith Thomas. Oh, great and thank you, Lori. Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. And thank you. We'll be right back after these messages on Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles is brought to you in part by The Vein Guys. Better legs, better life. Can you imagine a world without children? A world where children don't play, or dream, or imagine. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're working every day to find cures for diseases that strike down children. Because we can't imagine a world without children. Can you? Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Call now or log on to stjude.org. Hi, I'm Edie Hand. I'm Paula Lombard. And Paula, thank you for being here today. We've got Pave the Way to make a difference with your pink wipers to wipe out breast cancer. And how can we do that? Go to our website, autotextpink.com. Make a difference and pave the way. Hi, I'm Sarah Evans here with friends Rollins and Kumar. They're here for care at the Alabama Center for Childhood Cancer and Blood Disorders the largest provider of cancer care for children and young adults in the state. At Children's, we treat every form of cancer and we're committed to a cure. You can be too. Donate now so thousands of kids like Rollins and Kumar will celebrate lots of birthdays, including their own. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Edie Hand here at Scott Crump Toyota, and we're paving the way to make a difference for our youth, and you can too. So log on to our websites because we're, we're paving, paving the way. Make a difference, pave the way. You're watching Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. Welcome into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. I'm Edie Hand, and of course, Dr. Daniel Potts is not with us today, but joining me in the studio is Dr. Stephen Roth. Welcome. Thanks for having me. And we have Reddick Smith with us, one of your patients. Yes, Hello. Yes. Hello, how are you? Fine, and thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. You know, I wanted our viewers to learn more about you and what really is vein disease and what the vein guys do. Well, the vein guys, we treat what's called venous reflux disease, and it's a problem that develops in the veins and the legs. It's the valve's malfunction, and malfunction meaning it causes blood to travel the wrong way too much. Blood pressure goes up in the veins in the leg, causes them to go into spasm. Mm -hmm. That spasm, the brain thinks is aching, throbbing, burning, cramping, heaviness, fatigue, tiredness, restlessness. And that's what really gets people to slow down and have difficulties in their lives. So what is that treatment for this kind of disease? It's really come a long way. It used to be vein stripping. And it's horrible, yes, I heard brutal, it. horrible Bad stories. stories. <laughs> very bad stories. And what we offer is a very safe and effective procedure called the Venefit procedure. It used to be known as venous closure. It's a procedure that uses radio frequency waves from a catheter. It generates heat. Oh. And you're literally welding the vein closed by heating the inside of the vein. The great thing is the body gets rid of the vein by itself and the blood reroutes. And it only takes 15 minutes to do in the office, local, sometimes a little sedation. Patients are walking out 15 minutes later back to their normal lives. That is amazing. Now, Reddick, is this something that you went through? It is, it is. Now, tell me a little bit about that. It was as easy as Dr. Roth just mentioned. The hardest part for me was making the phone call. Was it? <laughs> after I made the phone call, 15 minutes after the first procedure, I was walking out under my own power. It took me about a day to get up to walking a mile. Uh, three days afterwards, uh, I, could, I knew that I had a procedure, but I was back to my same activity. And that's pretty good, isn't it? Or is that common? It's very common. I think in Reddick's case, he does personal training and he's a group fitness instructor. So we had we to get him. You can tell by looking, he's yeah, in great shape. We, we had to get him right back to class and being the instructor. And our patients are expected to go out the next day and do these things. And they can and they do. And it has a huge impact in their lives. Well, to me, how do you feel now? Great, great. And so tell us a little bit more about you, what well, you do. The, because your problem, lifestyle the, changing was what you were concerned right, about. Right. Well, sure. the problem was my lifestyle. I'm active. I work out a lot. I run a lot. So I noticed a pain in the bottom of my foot. And I was like, this isn't normal. So I talked to my wife. She made me make the call because I wasn't going to make it. I was going to self medicate. After making the call, I spoke with Dr. Roth, Dr. Davis about what is my recovery expectation and then what is the procedure going to be like and i was just very i didn't want to have surgery you're skeptical skeptical and i was like there's no way i'm going to have surgery on one day and be able to run a mile the, in three days afterwards and i could so wow. my thing was i wanted a quick recovery i didn't want to feel any pain and i felt a little little discomfort but it wasn't pain, it just felt like a really good exercise, a good workout. So the level of pain, the level of discomfort, the amount of time that it took me to recover, the um, procedure itself, everything was as they said, I didn't have any surprises, and I recovered in the time that they said I would. Well, you know, Reddick, I, I know you're, you're feeling much better, you look great. Thank you. And his case, is it different from any of the other cases that you see of his? This is very typical. And, and what happens with a lot of other folks other than active people is, is as we get older, we'll start having trouble with our legs. We start gaining weight. Then we can't do the exercise to lose the weight. And that's where this really plays a key role in changing people's lives. You know, this has probably helped you a lot going, back, going through it and to help others, right? It has. It has. What I noticed is I didn't have heavy legs but my legs fatigued because I had no frame of reference. 
I didn't know what a heavy leg was because I've had these legs with me for 40 some years. So I didn't notice a heavy leg because I had no, I didn't have a lighter pair at home. So this, after the first procedure, I did one leg at a time. I noticed that this leg was lighter after one day. After the procedures, after both, both legs are lighter. And now I know I've been dragging around heavy legs for years. Um, I'm stronger. I feel better and I recover much faster from a really hard workout. Okay, better legs, better life. And what do you call to get that? You call the Van Guys. And your website is? VanGuys.com. You can visit us on Facebook and Twitter too. Thank you so much, Dr. Ross. Thanks for and having thank me. Thank you, Reddick, for thank coming. You. Thank you. And stay with us for more on Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles is brought to you by Nolan Services, fine providers of long term care. Hi, I'm Edie Hand, here for Scott Crump Toyota in Jasper. Scott and I have teamed up to bring a program to your community to encourage and educate children on the importance of mentorship and self-esteem. Visit our websites. Hi, I'm Edie Hand with Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. And joining me is two good friends, Jeff Godfrey and Tim Aaron, who is the founder of Optimal Pain Control. This cream really works. It's helped me with my pain, and it can you. OPCRX.com. This is Dr. Pineda. He's a cancer specialist, a chef, and a cookbook author. Dr. Pineda went back to school to combine medical science with the culinary arts. Today, his dishes help relieve the side effects of cancer treatments and restore appetites stolen by the disease. Sometimes, success starts when someone realizes that the best medicine doesn't always come from a lab. It comes from the heart. Virginia College. Your success starts here. Hi, I'm Edie Hand. And I'm Ronnie McDowell. And I'm Georgette Jones. Together, we'd love to ask you to support the Children's Miracle Network Children's Hospital. That's right, Edie. Your local children's hospital provides state-of-the-art care, life-saving research, and preventative education for children 24 hours a day. And we need your support to continue helping make life better for others. Just log on to childrensmiraclenetwork.org. We, we believe, believe together we can have those miracles. You're watching Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles with Edie Hand and Dr. Daniel Potts. Hi, I'm Edie Hand and welcome into Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. We hope you've been checking us out on our website and watching some of our previous shows at rxhealthylife.com. Well, Dr. Daniel Potts is not joining us today, but my good friend, Dale hey, Smith Thomas Edie. is. Hey, it's girlfriend. so great to see you. And I've got my good friend, Amy Cotter, with us today. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, we're here in Dale's lovely kitchen. Isn't it just terrific at this place? Oh, her house is incredible. <laughs> or we could just move in. You, you can, can come. Rent a you can come. You can rent a friend or rent a room. <laughs> here we go. Uh, but talking about being good friends and that, and I know you two are, but six weeks in skinny, to get in skinny jeans, how can you do that? Well, let me start off by saying um, skinny jeans is a metaphor for any piece of clothing that we keep in our closet that we swear that one day we're going to fit back in. Well, love I got her, a few love of those. Her. Love her. <laughs> I don't <laughs> love those skinny, skinny jeans. Yeah, you know, I'm not a real fan I'm of those fan. either. No. That look real good on you anyway. But all of us have a skinny pair of jeans Something. or a skinny Skirt. dress, right. a little black get dress. Get down that lower size. Yes, and we hold on to it, saying one day I'm going to get back into, into that favorite piece of clothing. So how did you come up with this? Why did you do that? Um, it was actually, <laughs> it was actually um, kind of a smack in the face for myself. I started writing the book and um, I realized that I was being a hypocrite. Oh. And I've always been extremely fit. Uh, well, you also are a trainer, trainer, right? Yes, I was half my life I've spent as a personal trainer. And as I was writing the book, I thought, oh, I'm not doing this. I'm a hypocrite. Here I am telling other people how to live their life and what they need to be doing. And I stopped doing those things myself. Just like so many other women, life happens to all of us, no matter what we do. Life just happened and it started beating me down. And um, I gave up my good eating habits. I had given up my exercise habits and I took up um, a new sport. I took up eating. <laughs> <laughs> so at that moment of aha, I was like, okay, I'm going to scrap originally how I was going to write this book. And I went back 
And I said, okay, I'm going to do this. And I'm not only going to teach them from the knowledge that I have, but I'm going to live the book as I'm writing oh, it. Oh, I love that. So now I'm going to give you firsthand knowledge of what it's like to walk the walk. And how can you literally do that in six weeks? Um, now, I'm not going to lie to you. It's any process of change is usually hard. Yes. And, but it, it depends on how you perceive that process. So um, I'm not going to tell you that it's, you know, oh, take this pill and tomorrow morning you're going to be a size two. <laughs> but, um, I wanted it, they got yeah, it. Yeah, and he's like, hey, hey, we thought that was a oh, that was the the case. Not all day, okay? <laughs> if that was the case, I'd be running an infomercial and I'd be like a gazillionaire if that was the case. But unfortunately, that's not the case. But I do explain in very easy terms of what to eat, how to eat it, why not to eat other things and um, a step-by-step -step exercise plan. So as you're reading the book, you're actually living, living it. Living the book. So you I can, like that. So you can read ahead, but you're actually, uh, week, week one, you're in week one. Week two, you're in week two. So it's like having me as your personal trainer while you're reading the book. And I think she made a great point. The first thing you have to change is your mind. Because yes. most people say, Our attitude can't. to do anything. Right. right, well, most people will say, I can't do that in six weeks. Well, you know what? If that's what you think, you're right. Yep. You can't. But you've proven to us that you can if you do change your mind. Yes, and the, the book's also broken up into three categories, DEA, diet, exercise, exercise. and attitude. And diet, and in this case, is a restriction, but as you get into the last chapter, I teach you how to take the things that you can live with and live with them and um, get rid of the ones that you can't live with. And as soon as your jeans start to get tight, you know you need to go back to the beginning. <laughs> well, I'm going to email you in six weeks and tell you how well I've done with this when I read your book, okay? Because I'm okay. going to take a little siesta myself. <laughs> but how could people get your book? Um, it's, it's sold at all the major uh, retail stores. You can also get it on Amazon, barnesandnoble.com. And do you have a website? Yes, uh, amycotta.tv. Thank you so much, oh, Amy, for joining you. Dale and I. And we can't wait to hear all the great things you've got coming up because I know you've got some big things happening. Thank you for yeah. coming. Well, can we find all that out on your website? Yes, and also at getuncomfortabledare.com. That is my philanthropy site. Love that. Wow, say that one more time. Getuncomfortabledare.com. We dare you to get uncomfortable and get in those skinny like jeans that. in six weeks. Well, we'll we all be saying you. good morning, gorgeous. That's so right. That's, that's my yes. thing. You get up and say good morning, gorgeous. So you, you can get fit while uh, daring to, to do something for a cause. Awesome. You know, that's to me is very dear to my heart, and that's very dear to what we do right here on Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles. So thank you. Thank you. Me and thank you, Dale, for being here. You bet. And we hope that you'll stay with us and even tune in next week because guess what? Dale and I's boys are going to be on the show. And it's going to be great. <laughs> it's all about how to be a winner and a champion. We're going to talk about what Link is doing out in Hollywood and his new film, uh, 42, as the picture in the film. We're going to talk about Nick's race car experiences. And Dale and I will share a little bit about how we have become winners in our own right. We know you won't want to miss it right here on Prescription for Healthy Lifestyles.